Ah, good morning, Karen. Uh, get your little broomy pie and dust the floor off. The truant officer says I gotta have more time with my AB abs every day. Oh, you are not perchance referring to your ABCs, I trust. After you have shampooed the floor, tied it up, I'll proceed with your education. Good morning, Papa. Oh, good morning, Oliata, daughter of mine. What were you doing out last night until 20 minutes to nine? <laughs> you know you're only 32. <laughs> oh, I went to the moon pictures. Moon pictures, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> moon pictures, some kind of a baseball game, is it? <laughs> Cuthbert took me. Cuthbert, that fishy swan. Well, you don't know him. I don't have to know him. Anybody with a name like Cuthbert? Well, you got an Uncle Cuthbert. I had an Uncle Cuthbert. They hung him. <laughs> have respect for the deceased. Ah. Customers. I feel I'll be plenty busy today. Good morning, ladies. Can I be of service to you, Miss Dan? Is there a uh, lady in attendance? Lady in attendance? Uh, <laughs> yes. No, no, not right now. I'll rob upstairs and have Mrs. Dillwig wait on you. That's good stair business. <laughs> Listen, dear, there are two women downstairs. They won't talk. Oh. Nonsense. Imagine women not talking. That's what I thought. They won't talk to a lady. They want to talk to a lady, rather. Go downstairs and wait on them. Well, I'm certainly not going down this way. I ought to have some decent clothes if you're going to make me a clerk in your new drugstore. Oh, well. I uh, really ought to go down to the beauty shop and have a facial. Well, keep those women waiting down there for two hours? <laughs> oh, that's only a metaphor. I'll be down as soon as I get dressed. Poor sacroiliac again. <laughs> She'll be right down, ladies. Mrs. Dilbeck, well, uh, Dil, uh, Dilwig, I beg your pardon. I can't remember my wife's name, but down half a tick, yeah. Half a what? She will be right down, dear. Oh. Hey, are you going to learn me my lessons or uh, not? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, now, wait a minute. I, uh, I know he's going to have a busy day. Now, let me see. Now, where is that arithmetic book? Oh, uh, here it is. Here it is. Here. Oh, here's the education. Oh, here. Uh, here. Now, look here. Now, take words like this now. Uh, what is an eavesdropper? Eavesdropper. Eavesdropper? Yeah. An eavesdropper is a... a icicle. What? <laughs> a icicle. A icicle? Not a icicle. <laughs> a icicle, that's right. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. if you'll pardon me, it's... An icicle. I beg your pardon? An. An icicle. Oh, that's right, yes, that's right, yes. And even then, and you're wrong. Even then I'm wrong? Yes, 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 Well, it is rather a moot question. And I do not wish to flaunt my perspicacity, but um, an eavesdropper is not all icicles, no. uh, nor a icicle, no. yet not again an icicle. No. An eavesdropper is one who listens in. Oh, I get it, yeah. I hope our listening audience gets a load of that. <laughs> Why don't we come somewhere where it's quiet and discuss the whole thing? Say, how about that saloon next door? It's very, very quiet. Oh, excuse me, another customer. Ah, what can I do for you today, my good man? I wonder. Ah, uh, would you like a book? Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, have you read uh, Mother India? Yes. Oh, Mother Mazzetti, through San Bernardino with gun and camera, <laughs> spaghetti and pork, it's the greatest cheese of literature. No, no. The sex life of the power? No, no. Have you read Facts of Life by that young 17-year-old Pomona College boy? <laughs> no. Oh, oh here. <laughs> I never thought of it. 
Can I interest you in a stamp? Man flew in this morning from Washington with a fresh stamp. Haven't been off the air over an hour. What color are they? Oh, brown, purple, fuchsia, jealous green, <laughs> Dubonnet. Oh, no, that's a trick. Uh, <laughs> have you got any black ones? Uh, would you like me to dye one for you? No, no, no. Is there a sale on them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Three two-cent sales for nickel. Special price today only. All right, give me one. Oh, thank you. No, no, don't give me that dirty one. Give me a clean one. The one out of the middle. Oh, thank you. Uh, shall I send it? No, I'll take it with me. Hmm. I must write to Washington and see if they have any blank stamps. Now, why write to Washington? He's dead. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. That's a crisp one. I never heard that before. <laughs> yes, indeed, yes, indeed, excellent. That's very good. All right, come on, I... come on, step on it. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. I'll put the uh, stamp in this paper bag for you. Ah, uh, there you are. Sam, uh, uh, have you got change for a $100 bill? Uh, no, I'm sorry I haven't. <laughs> but thanks for the compliment anyway. <laughs> I've heard a lot about them, but I never had one. Well... Never saw one. Yeah, I'll have to pay you the next time I come in. Then. Oh, that's all right, that's all hey, right. Hey, by the way, what's that big sign you got out there? Souvenirs with every purchase. Oh, yes, pardon me, pardon me. Souvenirs, here they are right here, right up in this rack. Uh, do you wish a 404 elephant gun? pair of mounted silver tusks, electric pocket watch, or a spoon with baby Snoop's head on it. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm oh, very God. sorry, but I'm afraid we can't wait any longer. Huh? You can't wait any longer? No. Oh, excuse me a minute, uh, ladies. Uh, uh, I'm going upstairs. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I really felt I was running upstairs that time. It was so natural. I'm out of breath. Ah, uh, Miss Dillwig, will you hurry up downstairs? Hurry up. <laughs> hurry up downstairs. Sounds foolish, doesn't it? So quick, I almost lost the humor of it myself. We're about to lose those two uh, young ladies' trades. Oh, dear. Just look at my hair. I have. <laughs> oh, I'm a fright. I know it. I mean quite the antithesis, yeah. Oh, well, give me that hat. All right, quick, go ahead. Double effect is good, too. Ah, <laughs> right, here she is now, ladies. You won't have to wait much longer. Uh, uh, what can I do for you, please? Uh, uh, have you a powder room here? Powder, menins, or women? <laughs> Gun or insect? Uh, uh, well, uh, we, we just wanted to powder a nose. Uh, the streets are so dusty and fall. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. It's just yeah. on the left, ladies. You fool, why didn't you tell them? Why didn't they ask me? <laughs> uh, the telephone's ringing. Oh, got the phone? I thought it was the good humor man that came. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, here she is. It's Dillwick's drugstore. Mr. Dillwick speaking in person. What's that? Oh, Mrs. Fuchs wants yeah. How's the ma... Uh, uh, excuse me. How are Jimmy and Georgie? Both of them, eh? What a pity, huh? That's fine, eh? Yeah. What do you want? A box of corn drops? Yeah. No, I'm... Oh, I'm very sorry. We can't split a box. <laughs> no. Yeah, we can deliver them. Yeah, with pleasure. No, I said with pleasure. No, no offense. This afternoon, huh? Oh, yeah. It's a new address, yes. Wait a minute. I'll write it down. Wait a minute. i get a pencil. Here it is, right here. Eight miles straight ahead on Route 9. Turn left 16 miles on Route 18. First house to the right of the hill. Beware of the dog, do not pick flowers. That <laughs> was painted white. Well, that's very interesting. All right, all right. I'll send our truck out with a box of cough drops right away. Hey, I'm back again. This baby stuck spoon you gave me has torn my pocket. Oh, that's unfortunate. She probably bit you. <laughs> She's a vicious little devil. You're lucky she didn't mow you down. <laughs> Here's one with Bonnie Price's head on it. Here, come again. Okay, that's better. 
That's a very nice powder room you have in there. <laughs> oh, we think so. Thank you. It's a very nice powder room, yeah. <laughs> Where we each took a box of powder. Huh? Uh, took it for granted they were free samples. <laughs> oh, yes, in a measure, yes, yes. You tried the soap? Oh, yes, we did, but we didn't take any. The soap's on a chain, isn't it? Oh, the soap's on a chain. <laughs> yes, 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 the soap is on a chain. Yeah, rather unfortunate. He didn't have a pair of pliers with him. Uh, did I understand you uh, to tell that gentleman who was just here that you're uh, giving souvenirs away today? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's quite so. Yeah, it's quite so. Uh, here you are. Yeah, here are these old... Wait a minute. Uh, these old Ming China fathers. Uh, yes. The four feet high. Can you hold them? Uh, dear, well... These vases, you know, are 4,000 years old. Here you are. Oh, well, uh, haven't you something more uh, up to date? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry we haven't, no. No handles on them either. Oh, well, I guess beggars shouldn't be choosers. <laughs> no, 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 I guess not. Uh, goodbye. 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 the horse car. Ah, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Have you any dildo, dildoc, dyspepsia tablets for dogs? Are you haunted? <laughs> <laughs> let me see, let me see. No, I can't put my finger on a hand there on one of them for the moment. Uh, I'll uh, tell you what we have, though. An advanced shipment of Christmas tray. That nice drum and cymbals for the kitties. That good? Ah. That was tricky, don't you think so? No, no. You don't, eh? No. You haven't any of the dildo, dildoc product, eh? I know we have them somewhere. I don't know where they are. There's such presents there. How about this? <laughs> that good? <laughs> See that? That's an old uh, tuba. And combination uh, funnel for whiskey bottle. Uh, here's a good thing, here. <laughs> Listen to this. Old Russian sleigh bell. <laughs> Direct from Litbox. Nope. Can't no? use them. Can't use them. Uh, all right, all right. Race for the ceiling, everybody. It's a stick-up. All right, all right. Wait a minute, young man. Put that pistol down. Come on, put him up, put him up at the stick up. You're a desperado. You can't fool me. You know what, Pat? You're a pretty good old Leary. The most dangerous, unscrupulous bandit west of Pismo Beach. That's me. Here, don't start shooting in here. Here, you're going to fight go outside. All right, boys. Give them both barrels. Wait a minute. If those are the barrels I ordered yesterday, deliver them around to the rear. <laughs> What's that, that telephone bell? There's a fine time to answer a telephone call. I'll see if I can reach that phone. It's on the top of the counter. Hello! Oh, another one. Through the front window. Dill Week Start Star. Mr. Dill Week speaking. We're being held up. I'm lying down on the, uh, behind the counter. The puddle of soda water. My stomach's all wet. Pardon me. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir, 20 minutes to go. Yes, sir, they left going to go. I'll check up on them as soon as they say stop shooting. There's a fight going on here. Just start the hell up. Oh, I told you that, didn't I? Come on, Pat. Now you're going to get it. Get it out, Pete. Get him. I think I can't get him. They got me. They got me. 